What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here, Wu Tang's latest, I guess you would call it compilation album, titled The Saga Continues. All right, Wu Tang Clan needs no introduction. Let's just jump right into this shit, okay? Um, first off, Love the artwork. I don't know if y'all can see it. Shit is wild right there. I love it to death. I think it kind of represents hip hop and uh, and sort of the graffiti culture. Well, that's part of hip hop as well. So there is the CD. There's the back showing that bus again, the back of the CD holder. And um, let's open this shit up. Let's show you the back of this shit. There you go. Got some liner note action on right there. And um, here you go. You got uh, mathematics. DJ mathematics right there. Okay. Okay. Production is all handled by DJ mathematics, who has been a close... Um, I guess you could say sort of understudy of RZA. So anyone that likes that grimy RZA shit, you know, this is a guy that you might want to listen to. A lot of mathematics. Uh, check him out. He's got some solo albums, I believe. I think I have one. I forget what the name of it is. Um, but yeah, let's let's move right on into features on this shit. See on the back of here. They kind of um, separate some of the Wu-Tang features. Like if it's like a Wu-Tang member by himself, it'll say the song title featuring, for example, Method Man. Like, yeah, like uh, track five, Time is Money, Fly Navigation featuring Method Man. It, that just means it's a Method Man solo joint. You know what I mean? So um, I'll just mention the guys that are Wu affiliates or the people that just aren't in Wu-Tang that are on this album, okay? You got Redman, who's on this album a few times. Shout out to Redman, right, from right here in Jersey. You got Hugh Hef, you got Killer Priest, Chris Rivers, who's the son of Big Pun, by the way, for those who didn't know. Got Sean Price, rest in peace, Sean Price. You got Swinka, I don't know how to say that. S W N K A H. You got Mizzy Jones or MZ Jones, whatever. Um, got Capita. Well, I guess now he's an official member, so I'm not going back into that fiasco again. You have uh, Steven Latour, and that's about it. Everybody else that says features for, uh, oh, and you have Armin, Armin, okay. So anybody else that says features for are already part of Wu-Tang, like I mentioned before, okay. Got 18 tracks right there. Um, let's get right into the summary. A lot of people are shitting on this album because uh, they, it, they're like me. They want, if it says Wu-Tang on it, they want RZA producing the shit, which you can't blame us fans for wanting that shit. We want to relive Wu-Tang 36 Chambers. We want to live Wu-Tang forever. We want to relive that again. That There's nothing better than that shit. And um, we got a lot of mathematics. And not to shit on him, I, I thought the album 
it wasn't bad. I don't think it was bad at all. Shout out to Mathematics for doing what he does with the beats and shit. I didn't think it was as bad as people are making it out to be because when I heard, uh, which one was it? People Say was the first track that I listened to and it had, was it, I think it had Red, yeah, it had Red Man on it. I thought, you know, he brought a different element, he brought his element to it and I love when Red Man collabs with, uh, with Wu, like, I thought it was great. Same thing with uh, the other track, Lesson Learned, which is uh, Inspector Deck and Red Man, fucking fire, man. Um, Overall, content-wise, you know the woo. They they're always on. They always bring their own piece of the puzzle. Oh, and who else was on? Uh, Jizza is on here, but he's uncredited. He's not credited on here, and that was another problem that people had uh, took umbrage with as well. Is that he wasn't on? His name wasn't on there, or he was on one track. Um, I'm looking forward to, what the fuck is the name of uh, the Dark Matter album by Jizza. I think that's going to be great. Uh, probably he was working on that while this was being recorded. I don't know. Um, but this stays within Wu's circle. They, they What they do lyrically, they never branch from, which I like, you know, because they're giving fans what they want lyrically for the most part. Um, Y'all know them, this... Uh, Streetwise, semi-conscious, um, which they which they do stay within that range. Um, one thing that I do say, and this is for me personally, I love the skit. Uh, which one is it? Family, skit, family, and the skit called Message. Um, and family is something that I've mentioned uh, before when it comes to my rants on, you know, the black community and shit like that. That is something that they use and I've referenced before um, when I've talked to, to people about how feminism ruined the black community. They use Shaharazad Ali's uh, famous rant on or I should say speech on why that is and I'm glad that they put it on there so people can't say that I'm fucking crazy and message 17 I also like as well because it's along the same lines of how fathers need to be there uh, in the home you know what I mean I've, I've talked about this I'm not going to turn this video into that shit but um, I, look overall I, I like this album um, people are looking at it as a DJ uh, Mathematics album or uh, or an Ala Mathematics album. Um, some people are looking at it as a Wu compilation, like uh, uh, kind of like a continuation from Legendary Weapons. Uh, look, I'm looking at it as a mix of both, but I think it is better than a Better Tomorrow and Eight Diagram. So with that being said, I would probably give this a... Uh, uh, 6.5, 7, 7.5 in that range. I don't think it was horrible. I actually thought it was good. They were kicking real shit. They were coming right on the mic, coming hard as hell. Keep your mind out of the gutter. And uh, a lot of mathematics really held its own to me. So um, that's all I got to say. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, all right? Support dope shit. And that's it. Peace, bitches.